Hi Copic fans, Michelle Houghton here. I am going to be playing with two papers today, one by Photoplay. Um, their line of papers that are already pre-printed are called Color Play, and they come in these fun 12 by 12 sheets that you can cut apart and they have matching stamp sets, but these have already been pre-printed. So like the back of the paper has a single pattern on it and then the other side has these new, neat little um, cards that you can cut apart. So I'm gonna use one of those. It's a very smooth, bright white card stock. The second one I'm gonna play with is by Adorn It. It is more like a watercolor paper, so it's gonna have a whole different effect with the Copic markers. So again, this is a pre-printed sheet. This particular, the adornment one, does not have anything printed on the back. It's just one-sided. And so you can cut these little images apart. Once you color them up, they can go on um, cards. Obviously, the adornment is aimed for either like a colored pencil or watercolor pencil or watercolor because it is a true watercolor paper. The photo play, which I'm gonna start with, is a smooth white cardstock. So it is meant to be for other color mediums, and I assume it's gonna be perfect with Copics. And so I am gonna do these mittens up in a dark red deep tone so you guys can see kind of how that paper reacts and how well it does with Copic markers. All right, so I went dark to light, R59, R56, and then I used an R46, and that really brightened up that red, and then R43 to kind of lighten, and I'm going back and forth a little bit on this. It has blended extremely well. You saw me do a quick flip over of the card, and I might can't remember if I do one more, so you can see how it's bleeding through to the back, which all card stocks are gonna do. And I really am not gonna color any more for this particular, I'm truly just wanting to test. Now you're gonna see, I'm gonna do both of these mugs. I'm gonna do the one to the right in a different color combination. I'm starting with some earth tones. And so I've got that R43, but I'm gonna bring in some earth tones on top of it. So it has a, a pinkish hue to it, um, because now I'm gonna switch over to an E43, and cover the entire thing. Part of what I wanna do with this one in particular is try to saturate it with ink. And so I'm using four colors in the small area. E43 is next. 
notice I've gone back to a more traditional light to dark coloring. What I do love about watercolor paper, and I'll tell you this, this is not a high-end watercolor paper necessarily, um, and I can't give you the details about cold press or hot press. Um, you could probably find that on a Dornitz site, but what I do like about um, watercolor paper and Copics is the blending is just butter. It is so smooth. And so that aspect of getting those smooth blends works amazingly well on watercolor paper. Now, disadvantage is that it sucks the ink out of those markers. Watercolor paper is made to absorb fluid, right? So it's a very toothy feeling paper. It's got a lot of fiberness to it. And so you end up with a lot of um, ink getting soaked up in that paper. So just be aware of that if you're going to play around with watercolor paper. Now, I've switched because I realized, of course, after I did this first mug, this is not a very good side-by-side -side test comparison since I did not use the same colors. So I've gone over the second mug with the polka dots, which is a little more of a challenge, but I'm doing my four reds. So I've got R59, R56, I've shifted over to R46, and now R43. It's not blending quite as smooth, but I didn't bring that R46 across all the way, so I'm going to have to go back and forth a little bit. What you are going to see with this one, though, with that direct comparison of those reds, is I am going to have some bleeding. The earth tones held pretty well on the watercolor paper, but these reds are definitely going to bleed. So I am going to have more bleeding with the watercolor paper, but it has some beautiful rich tones to it. It blends, again, like I said, I don't know a better word for it, but it's just so smooth. Um... So I think it's very usable with your Copics. You just would have to be cautious about what colors you're picking. And if you're using those reds, really keeping away for those, from those lines, letting that ink bleed out um, toward the line. So Adorn It and Color Play by um, Photo Play. And they just started this line, I guess, um, or it's newer that they're doing this to match all of their stamp lines. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a happy, colorful day.